learning basic AutoCAD for 21st century learners tutorials. The following videos are open to anyone at any level. Maybe CAD enthusiasts, would be CAD operators, or even novice users. You may use this as your guide in discovering or exploring AutoCAD as software as tool in developing your CAD projects. Introduction to CAD and AutoCAD software, some of the basic draw commands, as well as modified commands are comprehensively discussed in the presentation. You can play and pause the videos to furtherly understand the lesson. And don't forget to perform the tasks relevant to the lessons which will be shown after every video tutorial. This would be supplementary activities in enhancing and mastering your skills. Allow me to introduce you in CAD operation, most especially in using AutoCAD as software in starting and creating your design, is the content of the lesson one of the video tutorials. It mainly talks about what is CAD and its role in design industry, overview about AutoCAD as software that includes brief history, the pros and cons in using this software, its AutoCAD graphics window or the interface, its special keys, the status bar toggles, and its function keys, the AutoCAD coding systems applying line command as well. In this video, we will see how the status bar toggles be used particularly in doing CAD works. The referring status toggles are located at the status bar, at the lower portion of AutoCAD graphics window or interface. The status bar provides quick access to tools that affect the drawing environment. Maaari ring gamitin ang function keys na nasa ating keyboard by pressing it to activate the particular toggle. It is very important that you need to familiarize the following function keys kung ano ang mga gamit nito, which is equivalent dun sa tinutukoy ng mga toggles para mas mapadali ang pagsagawa ng ating mga gawain. Gamitin ang mga toggles na naayon at mas makakatulong sa pag-perform ng commands, especially in starting drawing. We have several function keys that can be used to support user in performing CAD operation. Ranging from F1 to F12 ang maaring gamitin. In the status bar, maraming toggles and some of it correspond to the function keys. As shown, Ipinapakita dito ang mga function keys and equivalent such toggle descriptions and its buttons or icons. We have F1 for help, F2 for command line history, F3 2D object snap, F4 3D object snap, F5 isometric drafting or isoplane, F6 dynamic QCS, F7 grid or graph, F8 our ortho mode, F9, Snap Mode, F10, Polar Tracking, F11, Object Snap Tracking or the Auto Snap, F12, the Dynamic Input. These following toggles can be shown through activating it at Customization menu. Click this menu and you can set the following toggles you want to display on the screen. The following with check pertains to active and displayed in the status bar and the unchecked were unable. Let's start discussing the toggles and function keys related to it. You can use function key 1 for help. Press F1 key to activate help window. We have here videos and other related information about using AutoCAD software. In this area, you can type particular questions or command you want to know how it performs or information about a particular command. Sabihin natin gusto natin malaman ang tungkol sa line command. Type line and press enter to search. You can now read about line command at mga steps kung paano ito gamitin. Ipinapakita rin dito ang mga related concepts, tasks, and reference about the command. This is very helpful most especially to beginners in using AutoCAD. You can explore and study this software using help, but make sure you have internet connection to fully utilize this help system. The F2 key displays command window. Ito ay upang makita natin ang mga previous steps at mga impormasyon na linagay at ginamit natin in accomplishing certain tasks and other previous activities. For example, the commands, 
measurements, and other information. Just press the F2 key if you want and if needed. Ang F3 key naman o ang 2D object snap is used to snap the cursor to the nearest 2D reference point as you move the cursor. Gamit ito, the existing object na nasa drawing space natin ay maaaring gamitin to determine reference point to create another object. I'm talking about 2D object snaps. Clicking this fly out, you will lead you to see activated object snaps. For example, endpoints, centers of circles, midpoints, and so on. By simply clicking the snap, we lead it to activation. Siguraduhin lamang na activated din ang tugil na ito by simply clicking this object snap icon. Let's try to create a simple line connected to the midpoint of this line. Gamit ang line command, press this icon to activate it. Glawin ang cursor nearest to midpoint of the line and you will see the midpoint snap. Click lamang ang linyang ito and it will automatically connect to the midpoint of existing line. Let's try another one. Gawa ulit tayo ng linya. But if you think na hindi mo na-activate ang object snap, you can press shift key plus click the right button ng ating mouse then select the object snap na gusto mong gamitin. Like in this example, I will pick end point to connect the next line to other line. Move the cursor to the line and you will see the object snap relative to end point and click it. You have the options to activate your object snaps by setting first your object snap na kailangan in the setting then pressing the object snap icon or pressing F3 key for activation of the toggle o maaari ring by pressing shift key and right click the mouse to see and select object snap needed. Explore other object snaps and make sure gamitin ito nang naayon sa gusto nating mangyari and this will help you to make your work easier and faster. Snap the cursor to the nearest 3D reference point as you move the cursor. If you want to snap your cursor to the vertex midpoints on edges, nearest to face and so on, then gamitin natin ang 3D object snap. Halos magkaparehas lamang ang paggamit nito at ng 2D object snap. 2D object snap ay ginagamit sa 2D drawing while 3D object snap naman para sa mga 3D model. You can also set your 3D object snap using this setting and make sure you activate this status toggle by pressing this icon or by pressing F4 key. And if it's deactivated, you can also press the shift key plus right click the mouse and move the cursor to 3D object snap and select best 3D object snap needed in your task. Click this icon and your cursor will change its orientation from standard to isometric style. You can start creating 2D drawing but in isometric orientation. Press F5 key to change from isoplane left to isoplane top to isoplane right and vice versa. The orientation of the cursor. Left click again this icon to set and back the cursor into standard style. Temporarily aligns the XY plane of the UCS to a planar face of a 3D solid. This is mostly used especially in preparing or creating your 3D model. Mas makakatulong ang paggamit ng dynamic UCS upang i-align ang susunod na 3D object na gagawin sa existing 3D object, lalong-lalo na kung ito ay may mga inclined or oblique surfaces tulad ng mapapansin natin sa halimbawa. Mahirap gumawa ng 3D object that is aligned to the surface of existing 3D model and might cause delay in doing the project. Sabihin natin if I will to create a box on top of this object. Mahirap i-achieve ito at maaaring maraming proseso ang pwedeng mapagdaanan bago ito mangyari. Many commands are being used. If that will be the case, just turn on the dynamic UCS using this button in the status bar o ang paggamit ng F6 key to activate it. Let's create again a box. 
Move the cursor on top of the object. As you can see, the surface is highlighted as we move the cursor on the particular surface because of the dynamic UCS. And you can create a box on top of it. Gawa ulit tayo ng 3D object, but this time, the objective is that it must be aligned on the inclined surface of the object tulad ng nakikita natin sa limbawang ito. Pick Cylinder Command. Move the cursor on the aligned surface and you can use 3D Object Snap. You can press Shift key plus right click the mouse and pick Center to center the cylinder on the surface. Now you see how Dynamic UCS significantly be used in completing your 3D works. Just turn it on using this button or press F6 kung gagamitin mo itong.